Hey guys, I decided to do a Cinema 4D tutorial and depending on how many people watch this and ask for more, that will determine whether or not I actually make any more of these. Uh, so for right now I'm just going to do this one and we're, I'm just going to see where it goes from here. So what we're going to be doing is modeling and texturing and then rendering a small custom uh, MP3 player device. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be an iPod or anything, it's just going to be very simple. Uh, just to illustrate the point. So I'm going to start with the method of box modeling. So in order to do that we need to start with a cube. So to choose a cube from the primitive list I'm going to click on the X, I'm sorry, on the Y handle. So I'm take that up. And I need to get this into the shape that I want. So what I want is an elongated very thin looking device. So I'm just going to play around with this until I'm happy. And I'm just grabbing these orange handles here on the outside. Those will scale it in and out or however you want it to be. All right, now in order to get this uh, to look right, we're going to need to add a hypernerb object. This is going to add the smoothing that we want because Cinema 4D does not have a smooth function. Uh, basically, uh, other applications that have the smooth function, in order to replicate that in Cinema 4D, you use the hypernerb object. It's the same principle, uh, just a different method of doing it. So take the cube, drag it into the hypernerb, and you can see we've got this uh, flattened looking thing here, and that's because we need to subdivide the cube. So I'm going to double click the cube, and I'm going to rename this to MP3 Player. And down here in the Object tab for this MP3 Player, we need to give it three segments in the X, Y, and Z. So if we take this up to three, you can see it gives us three vertical segments. It actually made two loop cuts, which result in three segments. Same for the Y and the Z. Let's turn the hypernerve back on. I'm just going to click in the viewport here to uh, deselect that. And now you can see it's not so squished. And it's looking a little better. All right, so let's click back on the MP3 player. Let's go into a front view. You can, If you have a uh, middle button on your mouse you can actually click that in the viewport and that will go between the different views or you can hit F1, F2, F3 and F4 to go between the different views as well. So we need to turn this into a polygon object so to do that let's make it editable. Go into point mode, let's go grab the uh, rectangle selection tool. Be sure that only select visible elements is turned off because by default it is on be sure to deselect that. And let's click and drag and let's get these two horizontal loop cuts selected. And what we've done is we've actually selected all of those points that go all the way around the device. So let's grab the scale tool and we only want to scale these up and down proportionally and uniformly. So let's grab the X, I'm sorry not the X, the Y handle and just scale those up. And you can see what we're doing when we scale those up and push those up. We're actually uh, just moving these points around and we're tightening in on those corners. Let's grab the selection tool again and let's grab these vertical lines. And now we want to push those off to the side. And that's going to tighten up on those corners just a little bit more. And now if we deselect the object, you can see that it's beginning to look a little better now. All right, so it's nice and thin. That's the way I want it. If you want to add thickness to it, uh, you can grab the last two selected uh, loop cuts, and you can actually pull those out. Uh, I'll demonstrate that here very quickly. You can actually go in here with that tool, with the uh, selection tool, grab those points, and then you can kind of just pull those out if you want your device to be that thick. But uh, really, that's a bit too thick for me. So we'll just leave it at that. Alright, so we want to give this device a chrome ring around it. So in order to do that, we're going to need to do some modeling here. So let's go to polygon mode. Disable the hypernerve because I want to be able to see what I'm doing a little better here without all that smoothing. Grab the live selection tool. And let's click and drag and let's paint. And basically we're just selecting these front faces, these uh, front polygons. Okay, so let's right click and go to Extrude Enter. And I'm going to click and drag to the left 
This is going to make an inner extrusion and this will determine how thick, how wide you want that lip to be if that's going to be on the front for the chrome ring. Obviously you don't want it way down there, that's way too big. So I'm going to leave it about there and just to make sure that it's actually going to be that's going to look thick instead of thin I'm going to add another inner extrusion and I'm going to make this one uh, a little smaller it's not going to go out so much it's going to be about there okay now we want to extrude and let's turn the hyperner back on I'm going to click and drag to the left Okay, I'm going to deselect everything so you can see now we've made this really nice uh, lip there. That's going to be our chrome lip. Click the MP3 player again. Let's go back to Enter Extrude or Extrude Enter. We want to tighten up on that inside. Okay, I'm going to drag that down to about there. Grab the Extrude tool once again. Let's click and drag to the right this time because we want to pull it back out. So once we've done that, you can actually go ahead and just release the uh, mouse button. You can click on the handle here and you can drag that polygon selection back out to where you want it. All right, now the front has got a lot of rounding to it. You can see that doesn't really look all that hot. and We want to close in that gap there. So let's go back and choose the extrude enter. and we're just going to extrude this interface in just a little bit and by doing so now you can see we've got a nice hole in between the face of the mp3 player and that chrome ring alright so I got a couple more minutes here in my 10 minute time limit and what we're going to do is uh, make it look like this is made out of a front and a rear section so let's click on the mp3 player let's hit UL that's going to give us loop selection Let's loop select the uh, middle polygons here. It's going to go all the way around the device. Let's choose Extrude Enter. Zoom in here to it. And we're just going to extrude those lines inward. We're going to make one more inward. Go back to Extrude. Extrude those in. Okay, now I'm going to deselect it. And now you can see it looks like it's got a front and a rear plate. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is get started on the actual front face here because we're going to put a round looking dial on here. Uh, but before we actually get started that, I'm going to go ahead and stop this part one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to see exactly how many people uh, want me to finish with this. All right, so this uh, concludes part one. Thank you for watching.